One thing I found out, with all the chum in the water, this second dive was going to be different. These sharks were getting pushy. Over the millennia, humans, through society and imagination, had escaped from nature's food chain. Here on the second dive, it seemed to me that we were somehow edging back into the wild kingdom's system of natural selection. All of a sudden, I see the freckled shark sneaking up behind the dive master and biting his tank valve. This shark is starting to be a menace. When Freckles tires of stalking Scott, the dive master, he decides to get aggressive with, guess who? Oh, one thing about our chum, it was a frozen mass of mackerel yesterday. Destination, pet food, or perhaps fertilizer. Now, it's being recycled back into the ocean where it came from. If not for the sharks, a windfall for others waiting below. Whether you're inside the cage or not, it's best to keep on your toes at all times. Incoming. Perhaps swimming in the chum line isn't the smartest place to be, but for now, the chum seems to be everywhere. Here's Freckles again.
As I'm filming a large shark feeding, I sense the need to turn around. This aggressive display reinforces the reality. These creatures are wild carnivorous animals, perhaps encountering humans for the very first time. Like many sharks, blues have a membrane that rises to protect their eyes when they feed. If you get a close look, the blue shark's eye is not black, but cat-like with a vertical slit. From inside the cage, divers have been stroking about every shark that has come within their reach. But all good things must end, and soon PJ signals the end of the dive. Getting to the surface involves yet another encounter with Freckles, the shark who never quits. We play cat and mouse until the timing is right to access the swim step and climb back aboard the magician. This shark diving expedition was a huge success. We had plenty of sharks and a whole lot of action. Everyone seemed to have a good time, especially that rascally shark, Freckles. Blues are very slow, very methodical, uh, very leisurely eaters of the Makos tend to move a lot quicker, a um, little bit more intense. They move in and out of the visibility, and you never quite know where they are from what, what I've seen of them. In addition to being found immune to cancer, blue sharks are valuable to science for other reasons. Researchers consider the blue shark ideal for open water experiments. For instance, these sharks are being used to perfect a shark repellent that resembles mace. In this way, blue sharks are helping protect humans from all sharks. Well, there you have it, a real adventure, diving with blue sharks. Yes, it can be done, because blue sharks still exist and thrive. But who knows what the future will bring? It's like other forms of nature. If you want to get out and enjoy it, I would do so as soon as possible, because you don't know what tomorrow will bring. For Into Adventure, this is Bill McDonald saying, get out and get involved.